Hey guys, it's Marissa, kitchen table stamper.com. Surprise, I'm live. Got a fun challenge on the craft social today, and I just jumped right in. <laughs> I'm playing with parts and pieces, fun with parts and pieces. It's our challenge today. I thought I'd get in and just run through the challenge. So say hey when you get in here, that way I'll know if I can see the comments. Sometimes if I make a comment, it gets them rolling on screen. If I can't see them, I have to go get a computer. I hate when that happens. Hey, I know Thursday night isn't a normal night for me to go live, but we're playing fun with parts and pieces in the craft social. And I'm doing a little, I guess, craft therapy, you could say. <laughs> um, I felt like stamping, so I'm playing. Oh, Kay shared. Thank you, Kay. I love that. Who has said hello? Hi, Ashley. Hi, Marlene. Oh, I'm so glad that you guys are here. All right, so let me just give you a little backup information. Today is Thursday, and on Thursday, we play games in the Kitchen Table Stamper Craft Social. So every other Thursday, I go live at 2 p.m., and I walk you through a mystery card. On the alternating Thursdays, we play a game. And one of the games we play is fun with parts and pieces, where I give you pieces and you have, you know, two weeks to play. I, you can play anytime on the challenges in the craft social, but you have two weeks to play. And then I do some little random prize mail for people who participate. But the rule is, of the game is really simple. You get the parts and pieces and you cannot add any cardstock, designer series paper, nothing to your card. You can add embellishments. You can use both sides of your designer series paper. You can cut these pieces up smaller. Then there's a challenge. The challenge this time is to make three cards using the parts and pieces. And um, that's it. Then we everybody takes their challenge, makes their cards, and then there's a post in the kitchen table stamper craft social with a picture of these parts and pieces where you share your challenge cards. The rules are simple, primarily stamping up because that's what we do here. Don't link away from the craft social. It's a fun place to stay and play and no self promotion or promoting other demonstrators or companies. Super simple and have fun and use your stuff. So that's what we're doing and I'm going to show you my parts and pieces cards. Hey Sharon, you're getting your parts and pieces together now. Yes. <laughs> Hi Kathy. All right, so while you guys are getting in here, I've got some coloring to do for my fun with parts and pieces. So I've got my brand new Butterfly Brilliance stamp, and I'm just going to stamp that on some Whisper White. Now, this time was kind of a funny um, parts and pieces because I said you can't add anything except for white cardstock if you wanted to stamp and pop up your images. So I wanted to stamp and pop up my butterflies. So my parts and pieces, oh, I should look at that real quick. Well, we'll look at that while I stamp. So the parts and pieces for this one were three card bases, and the challenge was to make three cards. So three solid color standard card bases. My card bases are eight and a half by five and a half and scored at four and a quarter, and they're Coastal Cabana. I got three of them. And then I said that this time, if you wanted to stamp your card, or your images, your focal images, cut them out and bump them up, you could use some extra white cardstock. So I've got some extra white cardstock for my butterflies. And I'm just stamping them with a the Stamparatus. Hey, Debbie. Oh, thank you so much for sharing. That's how people find us and play our games. Hang out and stamp with us. Uh, okay, let's see here. Um, I've found that the Stamparatus is the very best way to get this image stamped nicely. Ooh, do you see that? Six butterflies all at once. I love that. And this time I'm going to color them and cut them out. If you saw Friday on Facebook Live, you saw me use the designer series paper. How do we say that one? Um, butterfly. Oh, I can't remember what it's, what that name, what the word is. Um, Bijou? Butterfly Bijou? I think that's what it's called, the new paper that we're using. All right, so parts and pieces. Standard card bases, three of them. Designer series paper, two by five, three pieces. Three whisper white cutouts, any shape of your choice. Three solid color cutouts, any shape of your choice. 
and one by three inches any specialty paper of your choice and I've got vellum all right so this is the parts and pieces challenge the first thing I'm gonna do is color up some of my images so I'm gonna slide my pieces aside for a minute I'm just gonna take my butterflies give them some color to coordinate with my designer series paper so I'm going mango melody um, so saffron I've got light pumpkin pie and then I've got basic black and the dark smoky slate and I'm just gonna make some orange and yellow butterflies I need three and I'm gonna go with kind of the moderate size ones and I'm gonna cut them all out when I do the dye but I'm gonna color them when I need them and know kind of what color I want them to be so I'm gonna start with this guy up here and this is I think dark so saffron I've destroyed this marker it's time for a new one and I'm just gonna do a quick swipe of dark so saffron and then I'll get to the edges <laughs> so while I'm coloring it's gonna take a little bit uh, have you guys seen the parts and pieces challenge anybody um, considering playing what do you think does this intrigue you the whole idea about the Thursdays and the game days is first to build community. I think we're really building a great community in the craft social, which is so nice because I think everybody's craving community. But um, it's also to get you to use your things. I want you to use all those Stampin' Up! products that you just had to have, you know? I'm hoping that I can educate and encourage and give you a place to stamp and then share. <laughs> And she says, sorry, I spelled your name incorrectly. My sister-in-law spells hers with two S's. I knew I spelled it wrong. So hi, Marissa. <laughs> hi, Ashley. Yep, my mom um, spelled it with one S. And it was not, like, when I was born, it was not a popular name at all. But I know the more popular spelling is two S's. And really, it's probably, if you're, you know, sounding it out, it's probably the more correct way to spell but it's okay I take no offense at all none at all I'm glad you're here all right so now I moved on to the mango melody this is the light one and I'm just kind of following with the artist laid out for um, spaces with shadows so this down here has some shadow I'm gonna go along the black areas and here along the black and then I'm going to do the bottom edge of the top wings because that'll help uh, distinguish one of the wings from the other I'm gonna go in with my dark mango melody now and I always say don't be afraid of the dark with Stampin' Blends it's sometimes hard to get in there and put that high contrast dark shade but we're gonna do it I have quite a bit of coloring to do here I wonder if I might just color one and see if I can get a helper to color the other two for me. Max, is Desi still here? Yes. Lou, ask her to come here a second for me. All right, so then I'm gonna bring the two yellows together with some more, so saffron. Desi, if I color one of these yellow, butterflies yellow, would you color the other two yellow while I'm putting the other parts of the cards together. It's a three card one. Yeah, just kind of shades of yellow. I've got samples right there if you want to kind of follow them. So I'm just bringing them together using little circular strokes. I'll go in there with some orange now. Marlene says, first time seeing parts and pieces. Looks like fun. This is, I think, the third time we'll have played parts and pieces in the craft social. And I think it's my favorite game because it really fits the way that I think. Like I do, um, I tend to do cards. I tend to do a lot of things. I batch work, you know, and the parts and pieces is always uh, similar. Like the Wonder Recipes, it's really the way that I think. So it's it's probably one of my favorite games, if not my favorite. All right, and I'm bringing the orange, yellow together with, this is now the light mango melody. And I'm just doing kind of little circular scribbles. 
And see, I'm just trying to catch kind of the same feel as the paper. <laughs> hey, Leah. <laughs> this is your favorite set with the butterflies, huh? I was pretty excited to see it myself. Not because necessarily butterflies. I like the butterflies, but um, the way that this set works and works with the paper, it's really just a cool one. All right, then I'm going to bring, again, all of these shades. This is the light, the lightest. Now, this is the light, so saffron. Just big circles. And I think that that gives me some shading let's do the black and gray parts i'm going to go over the body with basic gray when you're coloring black you always want to start with no this one's smoky slate you want to start with with gray black is a really strong color and if you just black it out it's going to look like um it's going to look like it disappeared it's not going to look like you're trying to color it black so now we'll go with the light black do some of the lines that the artist put in We'll take the dark black over the head between the eyes and down both sides of the body to give it some shape. And then we're gonna get some of these spots with the dark. And I'm just making kind of scribbles. And just dark up those black areas that were stamped with the Memento tuxedo black, so we can really look like we've got a black and yellow butterfly here. That's dark black. Then we'll go back to the light and bring together some of this in the body, extend some of this in the wings, and then these spots. We're using the artist, what the artist drew in for us, and we're just kind of enhancing on it now to get that dark contrast. And then the body of my butterfly, I'm going back over with the dark smoky slate one more time. Bring the black and grays together. There it is. <laughs> All right, let me slide this aside. I've got Desi hanging out here. My daughter, Desi, she's... Uh, if you're not familiar, kitchen table sniper. If you hang around here, you know Desi's uh, my right hand, my right hand man. I couldn't do things without her, and she's a pretty good colorer. All right, so I'm gonna bring in my stamp and cut and emboss machine. I want to emboss my card bases. I'm gonna use this Parisian Flourish 3D folder, and I'm gonna do all my three card bases but that's a little bit like watching paint dry so i'm not going to make you watch me do all three i did two ahead of time <laughs> lisa i own every butterfly set stampin up has made and this one is my favorite because of what you said the dies work great with this set and the dies we're gonna in just a minute cut out all six of those butterflies at one time with one die totally cool but then they've got these intricate lacy gorgeous like each size and shape butterfly there's a detail butterfly die i'll show you the set as soon as i crank this through so the 3d folders need number one and number four and i said before this is coastal cabana card stock so there is my card front isn't that gorgeous like perfect with these butterflies i think and we'll do that for three cards. Now the fun part about parts and pieces is you can do three of exactly the same card. Or if you go back and look at some of the other parts and pieces that we've done, I've done very different cards for, you know, like sets of cards that were similar. All right, there's our butterfly biju. I think I said it right, I don't know. I have a pronunciation problem with this paper. <laughs> and we're gonna adhere that. To each of the card fronts. I'm just going to use some multi-purpose liquid glue and I'm going to be generous because this is a deep impression. Do you guys see that? <clears throat> Pardon me. All right. My butterflies have to be flying the right way. Put that off to the side. And two more times. I'm choking on myself over here. Pardon me. I 
love this paper. Isn't this just gorgeous? This I think is probably, I don't know. They're, they're very good patterns, but I think this one's one of my favorite. I love how the clouds have kind of a realistic puffiness and the butterflies are beautiful. Yellow and blue being, um, well, yellow and orange are opposites. Yellow and blue are very pleasing together. We're just gonna adhere that guy down. All right, so there is our, hey, 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 Melanie, how are you? Thank you for checking in on me earlier today. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good and doing some, a um, little bit of, what's it called, craft therapy. I'm excited about about it. I'm having a very good time stamping. I need some cards to send. So I thought parts and pieces were perfect. All right. So that was our butterfly brilliance. We stamped that one. We're going to pair this up though, because one butterflies isn't enough. We're going to pair this up with butterfly gala. I really do like the sentiments from this set. Um, we're going to use the good things in life are better with you. And I did a stitched rectangle with that. Let me show you the sizes here. My stitched rectangle is, and this can be for the parts and pieces, any Whisper White cutout, your choice. Just three of the same. So I'm using this one and 11 sixteenths by three and 11 sixteenths stitched rectangle. And then the other thing you gather for parts and pieces is three of a solid color die cut of your choice. And I did basic black and used my Tasteful Labels dies. This is this largest Tasteful Label. Okay, so I got three of each of those. I'm gonna stamp my good things are, the good things in life are better with you on my three pieces using Memento Tuxedo Black. And wait, you'll see how crooked I put this on the block. <laughs> Hi, Diana. I'm so glad that you're here. We're playing fun with parts and pieces. It's our challenge game in the craft social this week. And I have already made two versions of the parts and pieces card, so I can't wait to show you. All right. so. Parts and pieces, I'm doing three of exactly the same card. Now, crafty girls do what they want. So if you want to make three different cards with those parts and pieces, you can cut up the designer series paper. You can turn you know, half of it over and use both sides. You really do have a lot of wiggle room with this card. Um, just only use the pieces that are listed and nothing more. That's the only rule. All right, so I've got my basic black labels and my sentiments. I'm gonna adhere my sentiments to the labels. Hi, Denise. I'm so th glad that you guys are here. If you're not already members in the Craft Social, that's the group that's associated with the Kitchen Table Stamper business, get over there, join us in the Craft Social. It's so much fun. This is our challenge, our parts and pieces challenge. I did a photograph of these pieces all laid out and on the photograph is a list of the sizes use your stampin up supplies make your three cards take a picture and post them in the comments so that we can see what you're up to it's really fun we um have a great group of very creative ladies who are constantly inspiring me it's almost painful because whenever i spend any amount of time at all in the craft social all i want to do is go stamp because somebody had such a great way they layered things or they used a new stamp set that i hadn't gotten ink on yet or um, a really cool fold that i need to try it's crazy everybody's so creative and shares so generously of their um, creativity and of their their lives and time. It's a great group. All right, now the labels go on the cards. Pretty easy. Um, what does Denise say? Denise says, what is that thing you're stamping on? Oh, this is my stamp and pierce mat. Denise, whenever I do photopolymer stamps, I use a stamp and pierce mat. It 
since the photopolymer stamp has no cushion between the image and the block, when you use the stamp and pierce mat underneath, you, that replaces that cushion. Like when a rubber stamp has that little clean foam. So you don't need it with a rubber stamp, but it really makes a nice crisp. See how nice and clear that sentiment is when you've got a photopolymer stamp. It's not in the Stampin' Up! catalog, but it is on the web store. So marissaalvarez.stampinup.net is where you can shop 24-7. And Stampin' Pierce Matt is the name of it. You can search it up by name. I'll post a item number if I remember. As soon as I'm done, I'll post an item number. It's not in the catalog, but it's a great little thing. All right, so we've got our three... Greetings, label stacks going on our cards. What do you guys think so far? Do you like the blue and yellow combination? I'm, uh, I think it feels like spring and I'm ready for spring. You ready for spring? <laughs> All right, one, two, three of these. Now, we had one more part and piece in our parts and pieces. I've got three pieces of specialty paper. It's one inch by three inches and you can do whatever you want with it, remember? So as long as you use it and you don't add more than what the um, uh, parts and pieces call for, it's fair game to do whatever you want. So I'm gonna take my butterfly duet punch and I am going to punch a couple of butterflies for each of these cards. And that's more than I need. Of course, you could layer that under your sentiment, or you can, you know, you can use foil instead of vellum, whatever you want to do, glimmer paper, any any specialty. You can cut it up, you can put it, you know underneath your label, whatever you want to do. I want to see what you do with it, actually. That's the best part about the craft social as I put this challenge and I think of it one way and do it one way. And then I see all the creative interpretations of the same list of parts and pieces. Marla says, just order this set. Can't wait to play with it. Love the paper. It's gorgeous. <laughs> Um, Connie says, love the, the color. What's the Stampin' Up! color? This is, um, Coastal Cabana. The Butterfly Beach You paper has Bermuda Bay in it and Mango Melody in the black and white. <laughs> Tudy says, we're already having spring weather here. We have had about a week of what I would call spring weather and it is... So good for the soul. Sunshine, everything. Um, yeah, the base color is Coastal Cabana for the card base. A favorite of mine. So glad it came back. I saw something else up here. Hold on, I'm going to go back a minute. Um, Connie received her Easter kit. Yay! Have fun with it. Enjoy the craft. Hey, Beth, how are you? Surprise, I'm here on a Thursday evening. All right, so I take my butterflies, I hold the body, fold up the wing, then hold the other side of the body and fold up the wing. And then it gives you a little shelf where you can add a drop of glue. And we're going to glue a bunch of little cuties, like embellishments, just on the bottom corner of the greeting. So I'm gonna do each of the cards with two little butterflies. So that's how I use my one by three specialty paper. I didn't use it all, just some. Let me get those on the three. Diana shared, thank you, thank you. That's how people find us. I love to when people find us and they start hanging out in the craft social with us and sharing their creativity with us. It's so good, it's so, so good. The last two kitchenettes that have joined the team have come from the craft social, and I love that too. Oh, goodness, good things come when you share. And I hope that um, I brighten you and your friend's day. What about crafting, especially crafting with butterflies wouldn't brighten anybody's day. All right, one more little butterfly. Coastal Cabana, thank you. You got it, Connie. Isn't it beautiful? I got another one to share with you in just a minute. It's mint macaron. So 
because there's also mint macaron on this paper. All right, so the rules of parts and pieces. We've used all of our paper, so now no more. I'm gonna get those butterflies cut out in just a minute. No more paper, but you can add all the ribbon, embellishments, whatever you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some rhinestones in the centers of my butterflies. This is where I'm using some of the bigger ones. Uh-oh, mm, runaway rhinestone. <laughs> Okay, turn this guy, flip it, stick it down. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Run away. And then I'm doing the kind of medium size in the other butterfly body. And then I'm going to sparkle because butterflies, I think butterflies should sparkle too. So I'm gonna do five more because two is not enough. We're gonna put them two down, three up. I want another one. One more. I saw a comment come in live. Yay, hey Lisa, I'm happy to see you. I'm playing parts and pieces. I hope you'll give it a try. I just posted a fun with parts and pieces game and it's been kind of a meh day for me. So I said, I'm gonna just stamp. I'm gonna just stamp. And if it turns out, I'm going to just share. And we're winging it today. We're really winging it. Look at my butterflies. <laughs> I didn't mean to be punny, but I just was. <laughs> All right. Five little rhinestones. All right. Now let me clear this away. I'm going to get ready to cut some butterflies. All right. The butterfly... Um, what is it called? Brilliant Butterfly Bundle is the Brilliant Wings Dies and the Butterfly Brilliance Stamp Set. This die will cut all of those butterflies that we stamped at once. And in the die set, you also get besides the, like what Stampin' Up! used to call a framelit, you know, the die that cuts out, you get some great textures. So there's like um, a spatter, a little cross hatch, a little brick. And you also get, what is it? Two, four, six, very intricate, beautiful butterflies. And then little cutouts too. It's a huge set, it's ginormous, it's absolutely ginormous. The Butterfly Bichu, and I don't know if I say that right, I'm trying, paper <laughs> is available while supplies last as part of the um, early release. This is one of the patterns. Let me show you how this lines up just perfectly with your die. So you can cut out six already colored butterflies at once, just in case you don't have Desi here to color your butterflies for you. And then there's a gorgeous um, kind of a rainbow inking. This one looks to me like um, water beads, like droplets almost. And then look at those sweeties. And then a rainbow pattern on white. <laughs> kind of says, how long have I been doing Stampin' Up? Um, October will be five years. And then this Calypso Coral. Oh wait, that's the one we're using right now. This one's got kind of, doesn't that look like a sunset? And then the one we're using right now, kind of monarchy butterflies in a cloudy sky. And then the Calypso Coral. This one, this one's special because I'm about to show you something else. Look at that one, like a miniature of the one that you can cut out with the dies. And then the back, and this one is um, limited time while supplies last. This is not going to be in the next annual catalog. The bundle, uh, the butterfly brilliance and the brilliant wings will be. Look at how gorgeous this paper is. The blue, and then, um, so this is Bermuda Bay, and then Melon Mambo, and then this, I love this pattern. Okay, so that's the butterfly Beachy paper. I need to get some more of that. I completely forgot to put it on my last order. Oh, leave it to me. All right, we need to set up for die cutting. Desi, it's only the two, right? You're only doing the two? The two that I needed? Oh. <laughs> Let me see what you do. Oh, that's 
Oh, I only needed the two medium sized ones. I didn't know that. That's all right. Bring them here. I'm going to cut them out. Okay. <laughs> Desi was coloring them all. I wasn't specific to just do the two that I needed and get the rest later. She wasn't here when I designed the cards, you guys. <laughs> Oh, Connie says, Connie says, what, five years? And look how fantastic you are. What an inspiration. Oh, Connie, thank you so much. I've been doing stamping for a long time. I did some design work for some other companies before. And um, I want, yeah, the three medium-sized ones, but I'll take the ones that are colored. It's okay. We can wing it. <laughs> That's okay. We can wing it. I'll do it. Bring them here. <laughs> We've got some crazy communication going on here. I told you I couldn't do what I've done, Connie, without Desi's help. Look, she colored my butterflies. I didn't need the two little ones, but we're gonna put them on the cards anyways because she cut them for or colored them for us. Oh, a little bit of black. Oh, I gotta do the black. No, I'm gonna do it after. I'm gonna really wing it now. <laughs> it, it's a live like no other at kitchen table stamper tonight. We're having fun. All right. So I'm going to show you guys how to cut these, but then I have to go back and do their bodies. can do all of them at one time. I put a little bit of low-tack tape as some leftover steam bit of washi tape here on the ends. And you want to see all of your edges of your stamped image kind of touching, almost not quite touching the inside edge of the die and I'll give it a crank but eh all right okay Desi come back here I'm gonna pull this aside all right so there's our six butterflies all in one pass are those fantastic here's the one that's finished will you do the black on these guys and I'll put the other one together okay those guys need some black some markers. Desi's going to keep on coloring for me because I've got a few more little tricks up my sleeve. So here's our butterfly. Let's see, catch up on. Hey, Becky, it's good to see you. I'll catch on. I'm going to catch up on the um, comments here. Melanie says, beautiful coloring, Des. Thank you. <laughs> Melody also says nobody knows how to say beat you correctly. <laughs> Somebody's waving at you, but I can't see who. I'll scroll back down and find out in a second. Um, Lisa was on the treadmill watching number two of Hey Chick Stamp is Deck. Oh, I'm so glad you mentioned that. Okay, so I had some housekeeping things to talk about, but I'm a little... Whew. Um, the Stamp is Deck, the Hey Chick Stamp is Deck, all the kits sold out in the first video. So I'm going to pick up that with video three, four, and five next week. And I've ordered a couple of things to make a few more kits. So if you're interested in the Hey Kit, Hey Chick, Hey Birthday Chick, stamp a stack card class, the optional card class, um, there will be more of those, a very limited number because of celebration paper. Okay. So just keep an eye on that. If you've already ordered, if you were successful and paid for it, um, your kit is already out or it's going out tonight. And then I should have the rest of the materials in by Tuesday or Wednesday to put around some more, uh, put out some more kits. Um, so we've gotten to the place where we're just going to add our butterfly. We did like the other ones. We lifted up the wings and put some adhesive on the body. And we'll add it right to the top of our greeting there. Okay, hold on. I'm catching up on comments again. Well, does he colors frantically? <laughs> Um, Melanie said, can you tell us what else is in parts and pieces besides one by three vellum? Okay. So your one by three is any specialty paper. You want three pieces, card bases, any solid color card base, three of them. Designer series paper is two by five, three pieces because your parts and pieces will make three cards this time. And of course you can cut it up or lay it out however you want. Any white die cut shape that you want three of them, and any solid color die cut shape that you want, three of them. And hang on for a minute and I'll lay it all out again so you can see it because we're going to go through one more time, one more variation of this parts and pieces. All right, so Dazzy did our little 
butterflies. I'm gonna take and do a little bit more black in their wings and give them some more. I like to really darken the um, black in the wings. So I'm gonna do that and then we'll add them to the cards. I love, I love this butterfly, oh my goodness. Wait till you guys see what else I got up my sleeve for today. Um, I have a little, okay, that was the dark basic black, and then I'm going to do some light basic black, and see, it just, it's already stamped there in Memento Tuxedo Black, but it's kind of a distinctive look, so it's got a little bit of um, stippling, and I really like to darken it up a little bit. I want a higher contrast than what the memento tuxedo black is giving me so there's that guy this guy i'll do the same just add a little bit more in the wings desi you did great these are gorgeous Thank you. didn't desi do a good job she's she can call her and fussy cut guys no you can't have her she's a amazing fussy cutter too so sometimes you'll see me um doing something and i'll pass it off and it'll come back to me cut i'll cut out that's desi Oh, okay, a little bit more. I don't know where to put the black on this little guy. I didn't do, I didn't color him before. I thought it'd be the first time he's colored in this set. All right, let's get some more butterflies on here. Ooh, I gotta catch up. Hey, Rhonda, Rhonda waved at you, Des. Let's hang out with Hey Chick, I love Hey Chick. Um, the dies. That's a, I'm telling you. I would have never taken another look at that if it weren't for stamping up and those crazy dies. They're nuts. Oh, I'm gonna lose my battery again. I always forget to plug myself in. Did I lose you guys? Whew, that was a close one. Phew. Uh, all right. So these little guys, we're gonna do a crazy little um, twist on things here. There's no mistakes in stamping, only opportunities for creativity. Um, I'll show you my original set. My original set has only got kind of those medium-sized butterflies, but does he color these two small ones? And they're just too cute not to use. Oh, might be one of my favorite ones. And they're so cute. <laughs> Melanie says, nope, we're here, good. Phew. Oh, hey, Pam. Thanks for sharing the video. I love to entertain crafty friends. <laughs> entertain and hopefully inspire, too. That's it. That is my fun with parts and pieces. Here's the original set. So here's, oh, that's a different butterfly from what we have there. And then this is the same as this one. And this is the same as this one. So there's one set. You guys busy? Can you hang around another minute? Because I got something else. <laughs> I'm telling you, I was really doing a little crafting today for my own mental health. So how about this? Three card bases, solid color, any color you want. Eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. This time mint macron. And then three, whisper right, white of your choice. You can see where this is going. Same rectangle as last time. Three solid color, cut out of your choice, any color. I did Misty Moonlight this time. And two by five inches, three pieces of designer series paper. And one by three of your specialty paper. I've got very vellum, or vellum, vellum cardstock. Very vellum. Oh my gosh, Stamp It Up's got me trained. Did you hear me call it very vellum? <laughs> Let's go ahead and we're going to rinse and repeat, believe it or not. But I'm going to show you something else a little bit fun here. So we're going to grab the Stampin' Pierce mat. If I can figure out what I did with it in my mess. <laughs> there it is. And my rectangle. Good things in life are better with you. I needed some cards, so this this is a really fun, fast way when you need to, to send a bunch. Grab the parts and pieces and just have fun. Okay. By the magic of television, times three. 
Now, let me grab my Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine, and we're going to emboss our backgrounds again. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So we're going to go with uh, Parisian, this flourish, this gorgeous 3D folder again. And did I tell you guys this one's Mint Macron? I'm going to pop that little guy in the folder. And give it a crank. Number one and then number four. <laughs> Rhonda says the magic of television thing was great. <laughs> and Lisa said, what set is the sentiment from? Um, I am on a butterfly roll today, Lisa. The sentiment is from Butterfly Gala. It is right here. I not only... Was it the perfect font and the perfect sentiment? But it was also the perfect size. Sometimes that's important too. How often do you look for a sentiment based on? Is it going to fit in my card design? All right, designer series paper down. Look at this gorgeous one. So this is going to have a completely different feel, even though we're using very much the same materials. We've got exactly the same measurement for the designer series paper. We've got exactly the same designer series paper, the same labels and rectangles. We just shake up our designer series paper. And when you shake up the designer series paper, you pull a little bit different color palette and it's new creativity without completely recreating the wheel. Slide that guy to the side and this one. I love this big like swallowtail butterfly. We're gonna use that one on one of these this time. And then this guy. All right, by the magic of television, <laughs> Not really. I'm going to do some butterflies again, vellum butterflies, six of them. But since Dazzy's still standing here, I'm actually going to ask her to do them. Will you punch these six butterflies from vellum? Dazzy's punching butterflies, and I'm going to glue labels. <laughs> um, Becky says, I can't emboss a card to save my life. It's always crooked over the folds or not close enough to the folds. Um, I'll tell you a couple little things hints and maybe they'll help you. Uh, the first thing is I usually line up my embossing folder. If I'm doing a card front, I keep the edge as a, as a idea, but when I'm lining up my card, I pay more attention to, do I have an equal space or a straight space along this edge? If you don't have a straight space here, then you're not gonna have a straight pattern. And then another thing is, I don't care if I'm doing a card front, if I go past the line, because I would much rather have this on the back. See, a lot of mine go right past the fold, then have a blank spot on the front. So does that, maybe those tips help a little bit? I love an embossed card front. I don't always like to put a layer on top. Sometimes the simplicity of just getting the texture on the card is the best way for the design. So practice too. Just practice and it gets so much easier with practice. All right, labels. I've been having a lot, a lot of fun lately with creative label layers. I've been cutting labels in half and only having half peek out using labels layered like this where it's not really even layers anymore. Um, I've been pushing myself to think outside the box with, you know, some of the same shapes that Stampin' Up! has had for a while. And this is one of the things that's come of it. I like this little kind of peeking out with the, um, what's the name of this one? Misty Moonlight. We'll get these guys on the card. Connie says, great tips. Oh, yay. See, that's that's why I'm here. I love it. I'm so glad that I can help you problem solve. I want your crafting to be easy and successful. All right. You see where this is going? It's no surprise here, but I wanted to show you how simple crafting can be. It doesn't have to be 
It doesn't have to be hard. It really doesn't. And the parts and pieces will hopefully get you to break the ice, cut some pieces, and give a try for assembling and getting creative. All right, so there's where we're at now. Uh, I'm going to add my little vellum butterflies next. <laughs> um, which dyes are those navy ones? Oh, that's the same one as the black. That's I did Misty Moonlight, and it's this largest from Tasteful Labels. Is that the one you're asking about, Kay? Um, Becky says yes. Need more practice. It's it's often the answer. I say for um, Stampin' Blends, coloring with Stampin' Blends, practice is the answer. If you don't like the way you're coloring, color more. You'll you'll eventually like the way that you color. And the embossing, emboss the card fronts. And you know what? If they don't work out, then cut them down to smaller layers, or you know, punch hearts out of it or butterflies or whatever you can always use it it's only paper take the pressure off yourself it doesn't have to turn out perfect it doesn't have to turn out perfect because you can punch a whole bunch of pine trees or butterflies or daisies or whatever out of that embossed piece take the back of the card and use it as layers like it's really just forgiving yourself too if it isn't perfect it's only paper it's only paper right Life is so much bigger than just paper. It's only paper. If it doesn't end up exactly perfect, no big deal. No big deal. All right, I got two more butterflies to do over here. And fold these guys. Do you see where this is going? Kind of soft, pastel, a little bit more multicolor instead of that blue-yellow color palette. Um, another, oh, see, I just did it again. Too much glue on my butterfly. So I'm going to just fold up this one and then kiss them together. Mwah. Mwah. Now we got, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm such a dork. Um, mm -hmm. I don't think butterflies make that much noise when they kiss, by the way. <laughs> All right, butterflies are down. Rhinestone time. <laughs> Connie says, I'm so good at crafting and answering questions at the same time. It's my setup. I'm not kidding you. Like, I can't look at the cards without seeing the phone. Like, you you guys are here and my eyes are here and <laughs> I can't miss it. If I did, if I had a different setup, I would not. Like, if I had to look at a different device, oh, I would not be able to do it. It's, it's entirely my setup and it's why I do this. It's why I love this. I like Facebook Live because I love to interact with you guys. So I, I don't think I'd enjoy the process as much if I couldn't interact with you. So keep them coming. Ask questions. Make comments. I love to see. I don't always see them all if they get moving fast. But <laughs> Pam says, but I'm a fun dork. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love you people. You are my people. Uh, okay, so now because three rhinestones isn't enough and five rhinestones isn't enough we gotta put seven rhinestones on our butterfly cards it's just gotta be I was determined today I woke up and I said you know what I'm gonna use an entire package of clear rhinestones try to stop me so here I am <laughs> oh goodness all right one more over here <laughs> oh Connie says Connie's agreeing. I'm a fun dork. Oh my gosh, I love you guys. Oh goodness. Two more sparkles and wait till you see. All right, so remember how I showed you that you could line up the Brilliant Wings die on the Butterfly Beachy paper. Where is that? And I'm just saying it now to say it. Like, don't know if I'm saying it right, but I'm just saying it to say it. <laughs> And you can crank that through. I'm going to spare you guys the cranking because Friday when I made these, did you guys see this Friday? When I made these sweet little candy bar boxes, I only wanted the green butterflies because, you know, sometimes I get that way and only green ones would do. 
So I cranked three pages of butterflies to get the green ones for this project. I put the other butterflies in a bag. Now we are going to do one, two, three. I'm going to, just like we did with our stamped colored butterfly, fold up the wings and look at that. <laughs> I don't know which ones I love better. They have such unique um, style. They almost don't look like the same card because of the multicolor papers that we've got going on here. The butterflies look so different being cut from the designer series paper. Okay, slide these guys down. But there it is. Parts and Pieces, version two. I hope by showing you my parts and pieces, I didn't like um, cramp anybody's style. You can use any solid color cutout you want. You can use any white cutout you want. <laughs> you, can, you can cut your designer series paper up. You don't have to leave it in a strip down the side. It really is about... Um, doing what you want with the parts and pieces and then sharing and inspiring each other. Okay, so let's see if I put those there. And then this one we made today. And we made this one today with the little butterflies. Isn't that cute? Oh my goodness. I didn't think the little butterflies were gonna be worth it, but they sure did turn out cute. And we made this one today. I can't even fit all the cards we made today in the screen. There. Ha ha! Da da! <laughs> Rhonda gave me the pronunciation for B U. B U? B U? B U? B U? B U! I think that's it. I think I got it. I think that's it. B U? <laughs> I don't know. I'll just keep laughing at me. <laughs> Kathy says, love those cards. Why, thank you, my friend. Sent my daughter to Aldi for that candy. Oh, yeah, there's white chocolate ones that are exactly this, like, um, so saffron color, and they're delicious. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> um, what else? What else did I miss here? Um, remember, non-crafters are usually not going to see your imperfections. They're going to see your handmade card. That's right. They're going to see the love. That's what they're going to see. All right. <laughs> I see you guys know some of each other. Um, I think I'm caught up. I think I'm caught up on the comments. There you go. And then because I said it's craft therapy day, I got a couple more of these and a couple more of these. And then I got a few over here still to put together. <laughs> I hope that you guys had fun with me today. Ah, I needed a, a little bit of a little bit of creativity and color, and this totally fit the bill, oh, you guys. All right, so I hope that you're inspired and you will give the parts and pieces a try. And Good night, everybody, thank you. I'll see you tomorrow at noon, Facebook Live. Got a cute project for you, I'll see you then. Bye, good night.